Here is Nucida's weekly forecast for the expected post activities in the realm of software quality on social media channels in week 36 of 2025. Our analysis is based on the social media post data from LinkedIn, YouTube, X, and other internet sources released last week, which revealed dynamic daily changes. I'll leverage the provided web results, which cover software quality trends for 2025, and combine them with logical extrapolation of ongoing conversations in the tech community. The ranking is based on the prominence of topics in recent publications, their relevance to current software quality challenges, and their engagement potential on the mentioned platforms. Each topic's ranking reflects its immediacy, impact, and discussion volume, with reasons for placement and a forecast for future trends included. So what will be the top 10 hot topics this week? Buckle up and let's start the countdown. 10. Performance Testing with Synthetic Data This topic ranks at 10 due to its emerging presence in specialized discussions, such as blog posts and social media updates, highlighting how synthetic data bridges the gap between testing and production environments. It appeared in recent software testing newsletters and quality assurance reports, with moderate engagement, reflecting its niche, but growing relevance in handling complex data scenarios amid rising demands for realistic testing without privacy risks. My advice, to effectively implement performance testing with synthetic data, start by identifying key production-like scenarios and use tools like Datagen or Synthia to generate diverse datasets. Focus on metrics such as load times and scalability, integrating this into your CI CD pipeline to catch bottlenecks early. Regularly validate the synthetic data against real-world benchmarks to ensure accuracy, and collaborate with data scientists to refine models, ultimately reducing deployment risks and improving system reliability. My forecast for 2026. By 2026, expect synthetic data to become standard in regulated industries like healthcare and finance, driven by stricter data privacy laws, leading to AI-enhanced generators that simulate edge cases more dynamically. Integration with quantum computing simulations could enable hyper-realistic performance predictions, shifting focus from reactive fixes to proactive optimization and potentially reducing testing costs by 30-40%. 9. Formal Verification and Memory Safety Ranking Ninth. This topic gained traction through mentions in social media posts about embedded software quality reports and formal methods to expose memory bugs, with low but targeted engagement. It's highlighted in recent archiv papers and QA blogs as a critical response to rising cybersecurity threats, though it's more academic and less viral compared to broader trends. My advice? Adopt formal verification tools like Trust in Soft Analyzer or CoQ to mathematically prove code correctness, especially for critical systems. Begin with small modules, integrate into your development workflow, and train teams on specification languages. Combine with static analysis to catch memory issues early, ensuring compliance with standards like ISO 26262, which will enhance trust in your software and minimize costly post-release patches. My forecast for 2026. In 2026, formal verification will expand into mainstream languages like Rust for broader adoption, with AI assisting in proof generation to lower entry barriers. Regulatory mandates for memory-safe practices in critical infrastructure could make it mandatory, fostering hybrid tools that blend verification with runtime monitoring for zero-trust environments. 8. Endurance and Usability Testing this secures the eighth spot based on its appearance in QA trend reports and social media discussions about extended testing for autonomous systems and user flows. It's gaining steam as apps become more continuous and user-centric, but it's overshadowed by flashier AI topics in weekly buzz. My advice, for endurance testing, run long duration simulations using tools like JMeter, NeoLoad, LoadRunner, or locus to detect degradation over time, focusing on memory leaks and resource usage. Pair this with usability tools like user testing or automated scripts in Selenium, Cypress, Playwright, UFT1, or Test Complete. 
to map user journeys, prioritize accessibility and intuitive design, gathering feedback loops from real users to iterate quickly, which will boost retention and reduce support tickets. My forecast for 2026, expect 2026 to see VR AR integration for immersive usability simulations, allowing testers to predict real world fatigue. Brain computer interfaces could enable neural feedback in testing, evolving endurance metrics to include cognitive load, and revolutionizing UX in gaming and enterprise apps. Seven, big data testing. At the seventh, this topic is mentioned in blogs on data pipelines and social media posts about validating large-scale processing. Its relevance spikes with IoT growth, but it's not as dominant this week as automation trends, positioning it mid-list. My advice? Tackle big data testing by employing frameworks like Apache Hadoop or Spark for ingestion and transformation validation. Emphasize data quality checks with tools such as Great Expectations or SCASE, ensuring consistency across formats, automate where possible, but include manual spot checks for anomalies, and scale tests in cloud environments to mirror production, helping maintain accuracy in analytics-driven decisions. My forecast for 2026, in 2026, federated learning will enable decentralized big data testing without centralizing sensitive info, enhancing privacy. Quantum-assisted processing could handle exponential data volumes, making real-time testing feasible and shifting paradigms toward predictive data integrity models. 6. Security Testing and DevSecOps Ranking Sixth, security testing features prominently in reports like Black Duck's Embedded Software Study and social media posts on vulnerabilities, with higher engagements. It's a hot button amid cyber threats but ranks below AI due to its established nature, rather than novel buzz this week. My advice, embed security testing in DevSecOps using tools like OWASP Zap or Snyke for vulnerability scans within CI CD. Conduct regular penetration tests and code reviews fostering a security as code culture. Also, code analysis tools like Sonar Cube deliver worthwhile security insights. Train teams on threat modeling and integrate zero trust principles, which will fortify your software against breaches and ensure regulatory compliance. My forecast for 2026. By 2026, AI-driven threat simulation will automate adaptive attacks, making DevSecOps proactive. Blockchain for immutable audit trails could become standard, enabling self-healing security in distributed systems and reducing breach impacts significantly. 5. Shift Left and Shift Right Testing This lands at the fifth rank with frequent mentions in trend forecasts and social media about early integration. It's a foundational shift in QA, widely discussed in blogs as essential for agility, giving it a solid mid-tier ranking. My advice? Implement Shift Left by involving QA in design phases with tools like SonarCube for early code analysis. For Shift Right, Use monitoring like Dynatrace in production to gather real user data. Balance both to catch issues pre and post deploy, promoting cross team collaboration and accelerating releases without sacrificing quality. My forecast for 2026. In 2026, AI will automate shift left feedback loops, predicting defects from designs. Shift left and shift right could evolve into shift everywhere with edge computing enabling continuous testing in decentralized networks like IoT ecosystems. 4. QA Ops and Dev Test Ops Fourth place goes to QA Ops, highlighted in blogs and social media events like meetups, with engagements. Its integration with DevOps for continuous quality is trending strongly, especially in enterprise contexts, edging out lower ranks. My advice, adopt QA ops by aligning QA with operations using tools like Jenkins for automated pipelines. Define shared metrics for quality and speed, encouraging dev test ops where testers code alongside developers. This streamlines workflows, reduces silos, and ensures resilient deployments. My forecast for 2026, expect 2026 to bring AI orchestrated QA ops for autonomous pipelines. Quantum Ops could handle complex simulations, making dev test ops instantaneous and predictive for hyperscale applications. 
Three, self-healing tests. Ranking third, self-healing tests are buzzed in trend lists and social media polls, praised for reducing flakiness via AI. Its innovative appeal in automation-heavy weeks pushes it high. My advice, use platforms like Testum or Mabel that employ AI to auto-fix locator changes. Start with UI tests, monitor healing events, and refine algorithms with feedback. This minimizes maintenance, allowing focus on new features and improving test reliability. My forecast for 2026, by 2026, self-healing will extend to API and data tests with ML evolution. Generative AI could create adaptive test ecosystems, self-evolving to match code changes seamlessly. Two, automation in QA second spot for automation, ubiquitous in social media, and blogs on accelerating QA. Its core role in efficiency drives high visibility just behind AI. My advice, leverage frameworks like Selenium, Cypress, Playwright, or brain test work for end-to-end -end automation, prioritizing high-risk areas. Integrate with CICD, use parallel execution to speed up and measure coverage metrics. Regularly refactor scripts to avoid brittleness, enhancing speed and coverage for robust releases. My forecast for 2026. In 2026, hyper-automation with low-code will democratize QA. Autonomous agents like Ask UI Agent could handle full test life cycles, integrating with neuromorphic computing for intuitive, human-like testing. 1. AI and ML in software testing. Topping the list, AI and ML dominates with numerous social media posts and trend reports on AI automation, predictive models, and reports like Ask UI, Brain Test Work, or Tricentis events. High engagements and broad coverage make it the hottest topic this week. My advice? Incorporate AI tools like Appla Tools or Ask UI for visual testing, as well as Test.ai for intelligent case generation, Train models on historical data for defect prediction, blending with human oversight for ethics. Pilot in non-critical areas first, scaling to optimize cycles and uncover hidden issues, transforming QA from reactive to predictive. My forecast for 2026? By 2026, Agentic AI will autonomously manage testing workflows. Multimodal ML integrating vision and language could enable holistic, context-aware testing, potentially eliminating manual intervention in routine QA and focusing humans on innovation. Overall forecast for 2026 and 2027. Looking ahead to 2026 and 2027, software quality assurance is poised to evolve dramatically with the mainstream adoption of quantum-assisted testing for handling ultra-complex simulations in fields like cryptography and optimization, potentially reducing computation times for large-scale defect analysis by orders of magnitude. Expect a surge in ethical AI frameworks for QA, emphasizing bias detection and transparency in automated testing tools to comply with emerging global regulations. Sustainability will emerge as a key topic, with green QA practices focusing on energy-efficient testing pipelines and carbon footprint audits for software development. Additionally, the integration of extended reality, XR, for immersive usability testing could become standard, allowing teams to simulate real-world interactions in virtual environments. While blockchain-enhanced traceability might revolutionize audit trails in regulated industries, these trends, building on current AI and automation foundations, could drive market growth beyond $100 billion by 2027, fostering hyper-resilient, adaptive quality ecosystems. Hopefully this video gives you additional insights. What do you think about the hot topics this week? Write your views in the comments section below. In terms of further questions, feel free to write to us. We will analyze all important internet channels and release our analysis report every Monday. Follow or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date and know more than your competitors. Happy testing and see you next time.